Hi, this is Ingrid Blackburn with The Creative Grove, and today I'm going to teach you how to use a sketch. Every Monday morning, I like to get my creative juices flowing by making a card for the Mojo Monday sketch challenge. And it gets posted about 5 a.m. in the States. And this sketch challenge, they put do a pretty nice job with some great sketches. A lot of them are very easy and straightforward, and they just kind of help you to jump into it first thing when you're just trying to get warmed up Monday morning. This is the card sketch challenge from um, the, towards the end of March, the Mojo Monday 338, and this was their sketch. You can see that it's a traditional card, size A2 card with an angle on the front, a couple of embellishments in the form of banner flags, a nice, pretty good sized circle as a focal point, and then from here, you know, your your creative mind can really just get going. A lot of times people write me and tell me that, you know, they don't really know what to do. They ha don't really have a lot of creative mojo. I find that going and getting a sketch sometimes is the best thing to get going. I'll look at a card like this, and I'll tell you, honestly, when I saw this, I immediately went to the, the stamp set Too Kind. I thought, well, let me pop those two dandelions in here, quick little sentiment, and boom, off I'm off I go. So this is what I did, and this is actually on my blog, The Creative Grove. You can find uh, this entire article with links to the videos there as well. I used the two main stamps in the stamp set, the two-step stamping, I guess they're daffodils, really, and one of the sayings, also in the stamp set, very convenient, love that, love versatility. I kept it pretty straightforward. I did a little background stamping because it was just a little too much white space for me and added an extra little touch by using a crisscross. You can see here, this is what I do. Is I ver The very first thing I do is I sketch my actual project out. So I pretty much stayed true to the sketch. I've got an A2 size card, nice angle right there. You can see I have the banner flags right here. I, I drew in my little crisscross, that's one of my signatures. And then I did the big focal circle. I have the two dandelions. Mine kind of look like lame tulips, but that's okay. I'm not a sketch artist. And I have a greeting. I put it on the right side, but I ended up putting it on the left. And what I don't have here are these two butterflies. That was really something that happened as I was creating the card. I felt the card needed a little bit more and that's where those two butterflies came in. Now, I don't have this pattern background on my sketch either. This is really just a good starting point. Once I've sketched this out, and it's funny because I'm sketching a sketch, but you know, it's kind of bringing my ideas together with the ideas from the Mojo Monday challenge. I then decided I wanted to use the Wild Wasabi. I knew that color, so I went to the back of that and I found the other colors to coordinate with it, and that would be the So Saffron and the Perfect Plum. They came together really nice and easily. I threw in a neutral of Early Espresso, which I love this shade of brown. It's just, to me, it's the perfect shade of brown. It's a great background if you don't want to necessarily always use black. A good thing to just have in your stash. You can see that that's what I did is I actually framed my card. That was not something that they had on the sketch. They didn't really have a frame back here. They had one here, but I don't have the right sized circle framelit to give me just that little tiny bit. It creates too much, too much of a border, so I don't end up using that. So what I did was I actually just did one here, which is something that I normally do. My original intention was to actually frame the angle, but when I started playing with the colors, it just didn't really work. I didn't really like it. And then I added these two butterflies, like I told you, that was just something to finish the card. Here I have a bigger version of it right here. It was something that really just, it needed something. And sometimes when a card needs something, I'll throw in some pearls. You could have just popped some pearls here. I threw a couple here, you see these three right here, and a couple on the butterfly or some rhinestones, something like that works really well. But I wanted something more. It was a lot of space and the little miniature butterflies punch worked perfectly. It filled it in. I was able to use this same stamp right here. I just stamped it in crushed curry on the So Saffron and that gave me a little bit of detail and interest to my butterflies. 
I like to use a coordinating stamp from the actual card that I'm working with to just kind of bring it all together. So, because a lot of times these punch outs, you know, they're kind of plain and I don't really like them when they're just so plain. But this gives it some character and interest and, you know, it kind of goes, it works. This little crisscross, like I told you before, is one of my signatures. I find it very easy to do. A little tip for this is to keep these two pieces up top very narrow and these two wider so that your crisscross is at the top because this big focal point is at the bottom. So that way you have it at opposite ends. And in the card that you'll see along with this video, when I actually film this card, I actually made wider banners and I like it much better than the card that's pictured here. So you'll have to check that out at the end of the video. Here it is. I love this one so much more. Thanks so much for joining me today. I do hope that you learned something. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more creative tips just like this video today. And be sure to visit my blog. We have online classes. There is an exclusive newsletter that you can sign up for with videos and more content. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.